So in this course, I'm gonna take a basic bass line and add some very simple chords over the top and then show you exactly what you can do with just these simple chords in terms of using different sounds, developing them, using them in different ways. So it's basically how to get a load of mileage out of four or five just basic chords. If you're someone who struggles with writing chords and using them in your tracks, creating magic from those chords, then I'm gonna help you and give you some ideas of how to expand on those chords and how to use them in different ways to inspire you in your productions. Okay, so I'm just gonna start with a very simple bass line. Um, and then I'm gonna play some very simple chords over the top and then add a couple of things to those chords to make them a little bit more interesting. So I'm just gonna play, it's gonna be a four bar loop and I'm gonna play four or five chords on the bass line. So that's gonna be the starter for this. So we have A, C, Standard kind of bass line. Okay, so now I'm going to add some simple chords over the top. I'll do them one by one. So the first note is A, so I'm going to put a, just an A major chord. So that's just a triad, A, C sharp, and E. So that'll be the first chord. Here we go. Record that in. Now the second note in the bass line is C. So I'm just going to play C, C major chord over that. I'm going to record that in as well, just one at a time. So a triad, just C, E, G. So I've got that one. So we've got an A major chord, and then a C major chord. And the next bass note is F. So let's just play a standard F major chord. So all of these are just standard major triads. And you could use a chord generator or something, like the one in Logic, just to play uh, with one note if you want, just major triads on, on these particular chords. So they're just all major chords. So we've got A major, C major, and now we're gonna have F major. So I'm just gonna play that in. So here's the third chord. It's just an F major triad. So I think we've got two chords in this next bit. So it's a D in the bass. Uh, and then a G. Let's just play a D minor chord. Uh, the triad again, just very simple. D, F, A. So here's the D chord, D minor chord. And then we want one last chord, which is gonna have a G in the bass. So let's just have a, a standard G major chord. Keep them all really simple. Okay, let's put these all together. I'm just gonna join them here to one part. So we can see all the chords.
first thing I'm going to do is try and move these notes without changing the notes, but just moving them up and down uh, the keys in, in Logic. So they're a bit closer together. So the first chord's up here. And the second chord is a C major. And I've actually gone right down here. But we could keep that closer. So we could keep the same notes and really keep uh, just move these two notes. So what we're going to do is move this C up to the C above. So it's still the same chords. And we can do the same for this E. Let's try and see how that sounds. It's the same notes, just slightly different position. So we've got... Um, we could probably move this bottom note up more. So there's an F here. We're going to take it up here. See how that sounds. Okay, so the last note, so we've got A major, C, C major, F major, and we've got a D minor chord. So we can move these notes up to here. Let's move them up so they're all in the same range. Let's move this one up. It's the same note, just different octaves, so we're getting them all closer together. Let's do the same for these as well. So we've got D here, that could go up one. And then what's this note? A G. See how it sounds up here. Okay, let's try this. Okay, so it sounds a little bit more interesting. These are just still triads. So what I'm going to do is maybe add a little bit of spice to these chords with maybe just one note extra or something. So the first chord is just a triad. And then I'm thinking if I add a G sharp to this chord, exactly the same note, we get what's called a major seventh. So I'm going to just copy this A here down to the G sharp and see how that sounds. So it's slightly more interesting. So we've got, in fact, I'm going to combine the bass notes with this so we can see everything. So we've got a slightly juicier first chord. And the second chord is a C major. We could have a seventh to this, which is a B flat just to juice it up a bit more. So we're doing the same thing, just adding one note. So this is the B flat, see how this sounds. So the third chord is a... I think what we could do here is Keep these top notes all the same, so it's just an F major triad. So F, A, C, I'm going to move this one down again. And what we're going to do is just keep all these notes the same for all these chords. Like the, the small amount of movement, the better. So let's try this. So just by moving a couple of things around, and even with these last three chords, just keeping the chord the same but changing the bass note, we've ended up with something a lot more interesting. So I'm going to split these up now into separate sections.
I'm going to colour them differently as well, so we know which one's which. Okay, so here we've got five chords. So there we are, we've basically taken four very simple chords, added a couple of extra notes, and given ourselves something much more interesting. So let's say these were the only chords that you've got to work with, and they sound okay on this Fender Rhodes, but I'm gonna show you how you can uh, make them more interesting by putting them through different instruments and doing different things to them.